What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out Jim Cornette on Vince Russo's latest tweets. Now, as soon as I seen this, I knew I wanted to check this out for uh, with you guys um, instead of watching this off camera. Because we all know, if you know anything about Jim Cornette, he loathes, he hates Vince Russo. Like, it's not even like a joke or for comedic purposes. No, he genuinely hates him. Like, it's not, that's not a joke. He's the, if there's any person that anything bad happens to, Jim Cornette will be the first person to cheer about it. Dead ass. It's actually quite, it's quite sad how much he hates this individual. But oftentimes we laugh at it because to see someone really be dedicated to hating someone this many years later, it's really insane so i had to check this out actually uh one of you guys commented on my last video saying i needed to check this out because it's hilarious so we're gonna check this out i don't condone hating someone this much y'all sometimes you gotta let that hate go but jim Cornette, he's one of those people he's okay with living the rest of his life hating an individual so we're gonna get right into this one appreciate all love and support y'all sh showing on the channel let's see what jim has to say here man I'm going to bring this up to you because a lot of the listeners have asked and also you retweeted it. Vince Russo <laughs> had an interesting tweet this week. And actually, I have bumped into another one here while looking oh, for this man. one. I'll read it. Well, wait a minute. Before you do, let me say you said I retweeted it. I did not retweet it as in, oh, I endorse this particular statement from this fine upstanding individual. <laughs> Somebody had sent a screenshot oh, boy. of one of stains tweets <laughs> where he said something that he always says something that's ridiculous oh my God. and those i don't even pay any attention to but this was so ironically ridiculous that i felt the need to amplify it somewhat not only because of the to quote jackie fargo the insufferable gall of you but also the fact that this is a an alleged writer, a person who claims to be a professional writer, someone who is paid to write, who writes for a living. And this is what he wrote. And so on both of those fronts, that's why I felt this needed commenting on. And I basically retweeted it with the hashtag, this shit writes itself. Hmm. Okay. Well, here is a tweet from Vince Russo, 3.49 p.m. on the 8th of December, 2023 from Earth. Okay. I'm adding a new rule. If you are or were ever one of my peers, capital P, I-E-R-S, <laughs> in the wrestling business, which means you actually worked in, in caps, the wrestling business. The wrestling. Don't call me to do your podcast if you also allow dirt sheet writers who are basically gossip mongers to come on your show as well. Zero heat whatsoever. But I strongly feel that allowing these leeches, L-E-A-C-H-E-S, these <laughs> leeches oh, wow. inside the door has severely hurt our business. And I'm not going to promote or be a part of that. Again, no hard feelings, just the way I feel. Where do we start? First oh, of all, the, the part that is so ironic is that I agree with his statement. He just doesn't realize what he's saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm wholly in agreement that the leeches should have never been let into our dressing room and into our business. Mm. And in, But unfortunately, we have a different meaning, he and I, unless he's referring to himself, because yep. that's who I'm talking about. Yep, I knew that's where we a was going. A leech that should have never been allowed <laughs> inside our business. The fact that he even mouths the words, our business, about professional <laughs> wrestling makes me want to vomit. <laughs> Secondly... Overlooking all of that. Oh, my God, man. A lot of the fans said, well, I don't know what Pierce Morgan has to do with this. But <laughs> apparently, Pierce Morgan is the only one that Russo will speak to about it. Or they wondered if it was just that he has a sailing background and 
spent a lot of time on the pier, although I think that's probably where <laughs> maybe that's where he met his wife. I don't know, down on the oh pier. My God. Come on. Oh my goodness, bro. She, I'm sure she was doing charity work for the mission. Healing the sick and feeding the hungry. The fact that he capitalized peers and then misspelled oh, them. Yeah, <laughs> Both capitalized wrongly and misspelled. And then the leeches. The leeches that are, that are that. spelled much like <laughs> Cary Grant's real given Christian last name. Oh, wow. Of Archibald Leech. Thank That's you very cool. much. And not the way that the actual blood-sucking parasites are spelled. <laughs> Oh my God! Bro. So he can't spell, he can't write, and the thumbnail art. He can't art. think, and he thinks Priceless. that he can refer to the wrestling business as our business before the leeches came into it. Said Mister Fucking Bloodsucker to Mister Leech. <laughs> yeah. I, that's again, that's a, an example of his penmanship before it goes through any secretaries or typists or correctifiers of any kind or editors or therapists or whoever he passes his effluvia by these days well it's interesting before in that uh tweet he referred to it as our business which as you said made you sick <laughs> here's a tweet from this morning as we are oh, recording God. oh man december 13th 753 a.m Tweets keep it on hidden started early <clears throat> This is going to be a long one. Oh, man. oh, boy. January will be 12 years that I walked away from the wrestling business on my own terms oh. and went into the Vince Russo business. He's stealing my shit. 12 years. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my material. Did I say that 10 years ago? I said, fuck the wrestling business. I'm in the Jim Cornette business. We talked about it longer than 12 years ago, so yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it certainly is. Christ. But... Still to this day, every morning I wake up and somebody else is taking a shot at me. Today, I woke up to find that a person I literally <laughs> took a bullet for. <laughs> hold on, stop. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. That literally works. Who has, <laughs> God damn it, who has been hiding from me all this time? I, this man deserves a bounty. Somebody Put a fucking bullet in Vince Russo. Yeah. I'm, I'll give you a check. I'll give you cash. But, and a dude, what's crazy? Oh, my God. What's crazy is he's so dead. Serious. Like, Wait, someone shot this motherfucker? I will pay you. When? when I need proof of this. That's how deep his hatred runs. He, it, the, the excitement he found, just, just had right now for potentially someone Shooting this motherfucker is oh someone shot you let me paint this guy. Wait, what? Fucking shoebox, tell me who you are. When did Vince Russo get shot? And how did they cover this up? Oh, I'll go back. He literally <laughs> took a bullet for that. That means he was shot from a gun <laughs> for this man. <laughs> <laughs> he literally got me. We were doing a crack deal. It was Jake. It was Jake all along. <laughs> who, did, who did he get shot for? Today, I woke up to find that a person I literally took a bullet for accused me of being hypocritical, stating that I still, in quotes, make money off of the wrestling business. Really? How is that? I'm certainly not employed by the rest of the may He may have a fucking point. I'm interested to see how anybody <laughs> can illustrate that he's making money off of any business at this point. Yeah. Really? How is that? I'm certainly not employed by the yeah. wrestling business. The wrestling business doesn't send me a check every week. No wrestling business. I'm not on any <laughs> wrestling company's payroll. Please. I've help. tried. I've tried. I've begged. I've I regularly emailed Vince. I made public pleas for them to talk to me. I created TNA. Please help me to understand. So, because I once made a living in the wrestling business, I am still making a living in the wrestling business because people, fans, subscribers want me to talk or still talk about my career and my thoughts on the current product. So talking about my life and my expertise oh, is man. something I'm making money off 
uh, excuse me, in something means I'm making money off of that certain thing. Looks to me like I'm earning a living off of, well, me. The logic in this business is incredible to me at times. If I was actually looking to still make money off the wrestling business, I guess I'm doing a horrible job because the way I would and should be doing it is by kissing everybody's ass who's what? still part of it, much like many, if not all, of my former colleagues do. What? So this was a missive sent out at 7.53 this morning. Well, but here's the thing, and he's, he's right. He's not making money off the wrestling business. He's making money off the wrestling fans. And truthfully, I'm not making money off the wrestling business. Mm. I'm making money off the wrestling fans. The only problem is I got more of them, and I give them something for their money. Mm. And old Shitstain has fewer of them <laughs> and gives them nothing but wah, wah, woe is me. The wrestling business killed me and hurt my feelings and blah, blah, blah. And I always want to get back except when they won't take me back. And then I say I don't want to go back. Yeah. I skipped all the middleman and told everybody flat out, I don't want to go back and I ain't. But how's your action figure business going, Vinnie Rue? <laughs> Sell <laughs> selling a lot of those? <laughs> How are all these books that you've written selling? Damn. I'd be glad to put my uh, book sales numbers up against your for a variety of my books. I think you did too. Woe is me, stories of your life and miserable career. <laughs> it's just, it just insufferable. This is oh what you God. had to say. And now people are starting to see it. You say something long enough and people won't believe it because they don't want to believe the source. But then the evidence finally comes out in front of their eyes. This is what you have to deal with when you sit around, listen to, talk to, or associate with this goddamn insufferable douchebag. He's a whiny <laughs> fucking bitch. And it seems like he's always oh, constantly but... begging to get back in. You know, he wants to help Tony. He was contacting the network. But then he says he wants nothing to do with it, and he walked out on his own terms. Yeah. Which I guess is easier than just admitting you're constantly begging for a job. Yeah. Well, and that's another thing. He, you, can you imagine what these people at the networks think? Because, again, when TNA was on Spike, and what was the guy's fucking name? God damn it. Which um, guy? The guy from Spike that would come, now I've told this story before, would come and listen to us in the production meeting. He was the Spike representative. And then he'd go play golf at a resort in Orlando and then come back and watch the show to make sure we didn't do anything and get him kicked off goddamn cable <laughs> and he but he was the spike representative and i would see him rolling his eyes when either shit stain would try to explain some of his shit in the production meeting or just the poor mike today would be reading the formats in that monotone voice he adopted so as not to be judgmental about this effluvia and you knew they were going back and going you this fucking guy writing a wrestling show he can't even spell He's a oh fucking blithering God, idiot. Bro. It was embarrassing. And you've got to know that he, Russo thought that he was important enough when he had these jobs with these companies for a short period of time that these networks would take his calls and read his emails and accept his input. And he's shocked and amazed when they tell him they don't want it either. Hmm. He can't find anybody to help. You know why? Because he's no fucking help. <laughs> I think the most shocking is the fact that the guy that he was shot for turned his back on him, whoever that may be. Yeah. We never, wait a minute. That's right. Who, who the We fuck? don't know. We don't know. Who shot, who did he get shot for? Yeah. What kind of neighborhood were they in? What kind of <laughs> underhanded tactics were they involved in to attract that type of attention from yeah. that type of criminal element? Yeah. I and where did he get shot? Hopefully in the head where nothing would be damaged. <laughs> well, it says he literally took a bullet, so we'll see what else we can find out about this literal story that I'm sure there's a police report for somewhere. But we'll see what we can find out. Bro, he said hopefully in the head. There's nothing. There's nothing in it. Bro. <laughs> I actually want to know who fucking sh who did Vince Russo take a bullet for? That I really want to know. If they ever find out who, they need to make a 
this, this story needs to be told that Vince Russo took a bullet for someone, and now that person has portrayed them. Like I don't, I need to know what's going on. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Jim Cornette, bro. He he literally hates this man, and <laughs> wish nothing but bad things to happen to him, bro. <laughs> constantly no matter how old they get he will always hate this man <laughs> but comment down below let me know some other videos you guys want me to check out man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all on the next one peace